think of. You wanna buy some death sticks? What is up my coconut bras? Welcome back in Oregon was the map that was upvoted the most in our last video the solo spots that work and be sure to vote down below for your favorite map and the map that you want to see for the very next map that we're going to cover pretty much all the solo hiding spots that we know about. Now don't get me wrong I'm not saying that all of these spots are going to be like crazy brand new just discovered four seconds ago but I am going to be covering all of the solo spots that are still currently working and of course if any Anything gets patched or new updates come out I will always update you guys and make sure you guys know exactly what's working now this spot is really awesome all you're gonna need is an impact grenade and you're gonna take out the little chair on the left and look at this your legs are not even gonna clip through the wall and so this is a very very unorthodox spot and a lot of people do not know about this one I actually I this is the first time that I've ever seen this spot covered on YouTube so if anybody else has covered it I apologize I do believe that I am the founder of that and so since we're going to be in this room, we're going to move on over to this second little table over here. You don't have to destroy these little side chairs, but I was trying to destroy them, seeing if I could get them to kind of like fall on me and use them as cover. And this spot all in all, I'm not going to say is that great, but what is good about it is that it is a little bit situational and you are going to be protected from two of the sides. So in the off chance they don't come around, you will be protected if they're entering from those two areas. Moving on to the room right next door, we're going to be in the kitchen and there's a hostage spawn right next to this little area. You could lie down right here too, but you're going to be more dis you're going to be more exposed because of people walking on the other side. It's going to work better if you're standing up pretty much on the little knife block right there. Don't cut your toes though. But all in all, this is a really really simple spot that is going to work great and throw a lot of people off guard. All right, we're gonna be moving on into the room very close to here. They're gonna be in the classroom and you're gonna need another impact grenade or nitro cell. And this is kind of those little white desks that we saw on the last map on consulate. And you're gonna be able to go underneath all these little white desks as long as you have an impact grenade. So that one right there is a really good one and it's right on the front entrance. A lot of people are gonna just drive your drone right past that and run in either through the window or the main entrance. So this is a very, very good spot. And moving on right next to it is actually this pile of chairs that you're going to be able to just melee. Sometimes you have to melee the second one, not always. I did just to make sure that I get through. And then all of the little debris and stuff is going to kind of fall on top of you. And this is also the first time I've seen this spot covered. That's a really, really funny spot and extremely simple to get into also. Now, I'm not sure how this is kind of working on other people's screen because you're destroying something. But I believe that all of the little chair debris will still be there covering you because uh, it is working for both of us right there and it's covering him pretty good. But I believe if you blow it up or something, the chairs may not be in those exact positions that you're seeing them on screen. Alright, moving on, we're going to be in the watchtower and we're going to cover this very well known spot. You're going to be able to come all the way up to the top and vault over and land on this little beam. Now once you land on the beam, you can inch either forward or behind you. You can do this on both sides. I prefer to come over here right above the light because the light is going to kind of be like a little blinding to the enemy team and it's also going to be darker up here. So as you see right there, people are going to enter from all over the place and this is also a very good spot to go to when people are entering from the top because from the top it's very difficult to see down here because they're going to be pretty much blocked by the floor panel so they would have to be on the opposite side of you in order to see you. A lot of people will come over here, check the corners, drone it out and that's another good thing. Drones have a hard time looking like vertical and straight up but this is a fairly well known spot so you do need to be cautious when using this. Alright moving on we're going to be in the meeting hall and this is another spot that's not very well known but it's going to be a very dark corner. So as long as the enemy team does not have their brightness turned like crazy all the way up in the max and it's going to be very very good spot and very useful for when people are rushing meeting hall and you're going to be able to get the flank on them. I'm going to show you exactly what this looks like from the attacker's point of view. Well I'm defending from the point of view when you are not in the spot. So as you see right there it is a very dark and uncommon spot to be using. Now, as you see right there, you need to be cautious because sometimes your knee can kind of clip through the little box. But guess what? It's a solo spot and we are on the map, Oregon, so I got to cover it. 
All right, this next one, you're going to need a shoddy gun or a impact grenade. That would work too. And you're going to vault onto the end of the chair. And once you get in here, you're going to be able to lie down. Now, I don't suggest doing this spot unless the objective is in the meeting hall. The reason being is that it is sometimes very difficult to get out of here. Sometimes you're not always going to be able to crawl out of it super easily and fast. Sometimes you have to wiggle around quite a bit. So I just strongly recommend doing this and only if the objective is in this room. Or unless you are like 100% sure that they're all going to come running through the room and you'll be able to pick off a couple kills and you want to risk getting stuck. Alright, this next spot is also a pretty well known spot and unfortunately you cannot shoot out this light. But what a lot of people like to do is to just come right here and wait for rushers. A lot of people like to rush the bomb site or downstairs laundry room immediately after spawning in construction. So a lot of people will just rush straight past you. It is pretty well known now though so I would be very cautious but I do need to point this out because it is a very another, it is another very common spot to be using when you are doing solo hiding spots. These next couple spots are going to be also dark corner spots and we are in the showers room and a lot of people like to go inside of the showers but there's also a couple really dark corners that are very useful. There's that one right there that I just pointed out and then there's also this tub right here that a lot of people will hide behind. If they enter from the window behind you or the window to your right you're pretty much screwed but this spot is more useful for if you're listening for people coming down the hallway and you're going to go for the flank. Not necessarily a super good hide and seek spot because you definitely will be seen and your legs do stick out quite a bit. What seems to happen quite a bit to attackers is they'll get very impatient, the people will forget to drone out, and that's when these little spots are going to work great. Now this spot was on our original video, did you know about these Cavera spots? And this spot is surprisingly really good and I never really understood why but still a lot of people don't really check this corner. People will immediately break this room or they'll do a quick drone expecting people to be upstairs on the second story balcony and a lot of people just do not check corners or people will run in and drones fly past this spot all the time and it's a very very dark corner so be on the lookout for this spot. This next spot is coming to us via the Dangleberries. They are the ones that originally posted this. So shout out to you guys if you're watching this. This is an absolutely awesome spot. You're going to need a Nitro Cell or an Impact Grenade again. Regular just shooting and meleeing the chair is not going to work out. So just make sure you lie sideways and then listen for people walking past you and you'll be able to pick off some awesome kills. Now this next desk is a very, very cool spot. You cannot destroy those little filing cabinets. But what you can do is destroy the entire desk and lie down in this insanely dark spot. And this is another spot I believe we discovered. I did not see this posted anywhere else. So I believe this is going to be the first time you guys are seeing on this on YouTube. If not, then I deeply apologize. Please let me know down below. But anyways, let me know what you guys want to see. For the next map, be sure to vote down below. Huge shout out to Tonsil Whacker. You helped me so much in this video. Cannot thank you enough. You are the boy. And you also have one of the best gamer tags I've ever seen. I love you guys all. See you guys all very soon. Peace.